I'm sure that we can all be united in saving people from the cages of Russian prisons. Unfortunately, there are some in the world and here among you who turn a blind eye to those cages and illegal annexations. And I'm here so that everyone can take an honest look, no matter how hard the Russians try to influence. There must still be independence. And I want to thank Saudi Arabia. I want to thank the majority of you for supporting foreign international positions and the UN Charter. Dear participants, your people have already seen that Ukrainians are people of peace, of real peace. And I'm also sure all your nations will understand the main call I want to leave here in Jeddah, a noble call to all of you to help protect our people, including Ukrainian Muslim community. With me here is the Honorable Mustafa Jamilev, the leader of the Crimean Tatar people, one of the indigenous peoples of Ukraine whose home is Crimea, the center of Muslim culture in Ukraine. For centuries, the Crimean Tatar have been and should remain an integral and strong part of the Muslim community of the world. But Crimea was the first to suffer from the Russian occupation. And until now, most of those who are subjected to repression in the occupied Crimea are Muslims. We already have a positive experience with Saudi Arabia regarding uh, the release of our people captured by Russia. We can expand this experience. And even if there are people here at the summit who have a different view on the war, on, on our land, calling it a conflict, I'm sure that we can all be united in saving people from the cages of Russian prisons. Unfortunately, there are some in the world and here among you who turn a blind eye to those cages and illegal annexations. And I'm here so that everyone can take an honest look, no matter how hard the Russians try to influence. There must still be independence. And I want to thank Saudi Arabia. I want to thank the majority of you for supporting foreign international positions and the UN Charter. 